right, welcome back to the shop. Um, it is Wednesday. I'll be heading out for WRL. Go play with the Miatas and Shaky Dog in just a few days. But for now, I'm really excited because I got my big project car back in the shop. Uh, I'll show it to you now. This is a 2018 Lamborghini Urus. All right, so just to start off, I have already had this car for a year and have been ordering things and trying to get things figured out on it. Uh, this is going to be our One Lap of America car, assuming everything goes well for this year. So modifications so far. One, I had these Forge Line wheels made out. These are 21 by 12 square and we are sitting on 3 25 30 21 so these are Michelin PS4s um, PS4S's so already off to some issues probably uh, caliper clearance is probably way too close when I mean close I mean like I already have a few marks from anything getting in the way or hub flex so that could definitely be an issue. Um, going to follow up with Forge Line and see if they want to do anything about it. Um, and then the car has been lowered. So obviously, so these tires are 28 inches tall, but the stock tires are almost 32. So this thing had to get way low. This is it in its race setting, and she's pretty low for an SUV. Downside, it's 100% sitting on the bump stops, so it rides awful. So, uh, yep, need to do some work. Definitely very ride height sensitive due to how they have the bump stops position. So, I guess they're, you know, the goal was when you would lower the car into its race setting, it would get much stiffer for track use. Unfortunately, that meant that as soon as I lowered the car any more than stock, um, you know, the spring rates went through the roof. So, this could be a good tuning tool, but also potentially a problem. So we got to be careful with that. Uh, other modifications have been the exhaust. This car went out and had a custom titanium exhaust built for it. Um, I guess I'll get it raised up. All right, that's enough for now. So we have header back titanium exhaust in here. These are each three inch pipes and then they Y to a single four. This was done by PSI Performance. Uh, they're local to me. Um, so guys up there, uh, Travis and Don Bangs, have been awesome to work with, very helpful. Uh, if you see any of our dyno videos, they also own Titanium Dynamics. So that's where I get all my titanium for the projects I like to take on. This one, I wanted to give them the opportunity to do. I just been a little busy and they did an awesome job. Um, there's provisions here or there's a nice straight piece here to be able to put mufflers in in the future but for now I wanted straight pipes. This thing sounds pretty wild. So ugh, today's goal. Today's goal is to get the factory headers pulled out and I have titanium downpipes. Uh, sorry, not factory headers, headers. Today's goal is to pull the factory downpipes out, the ones with the cats in them, and get the uh, straight pipes put in and the ECU set off. We'll get a tune done on that. And then we will be uh, up to our, our goal of around 700 horsepower to the wheels. And we need to go test this thing because soon our friends from Zebulon will be coming into town and this thing is going to get some aero. Damn SUVs with all their suspension travel. We're running out of travel to lift this thing any higher. <laughs> uh, I think what we need to do instead of lowering the suspension by deflating the airbags more we need to figure out how to like relocate. Oh, I need this lower arm to like be shorter. 
maybe we can figure out how to slide the strut down in to this piece further. Machine something. If we can get the shock, I guess this isn't a strut car, if we can get the shock pushed in, you know, an inch and lower it that way, this thing would probably be a lot happier. It wouldn't have all this crazy droop. I don't need to know this thing jumps so nice. The top of the hill over here, outside, there's a, a spot you can, you know, go over and get a little bit of air if you're going quick enough. And this thing really soaks it up, and this is why, apparently. It's an off-road car. Before we get more, uh, before we get too far into this, I figure I get a base weight. Um, unfortunately, it's a little heavier than um, maybe advertised. So this is already with the titanium exhaust and lighter wheels and tires. It's still 5,000 pounds. So I don't know how we'd get that front left or front right down to uh, like 1,100, something comparable to like a sports car, a heavy sports car. <laughs> Oh man, this thing's heavy. I don't know how we're gonna pull any weight off of it. Everything already is made out of super lightweight stuff. All right, well, see what we can do. All right, off the scales now. Let's see, I've got the little intake box off. And this thing's pretty cool. Got your turbos sitting right up here on top. And then those big old funky boxes there are the two cats and then they kind of curve around down to the bottom of the motor and let's see over on the here is shelf not a lot going on here now but there will be got some of these bad boys should be pretty sweet let's get the other ones off first and then get these on all right, cats are out, and they'll be staying out. Guess we should weigh this, see what the difference is. Should be pretty cool though. Definitely feels a lot lighter. All right, so stock cat, roughly 12 pounds. So, See if this thing even registers. It's gonna be like a pound or two. Eh. All right, three. All right, so we save I don't know, ten-ish pounds. So yeah, cool. Twenty pounds total coming off the nose. Just you know, like five hundred more to go. All right, check it out. Down pipes. Good to go. Got the ECU out. Hopefully we'll get that back this afternoon. Take this baby for a rip. Do need to probably raise the suspension a smidge, get it back off the bump stops. And yeah, find some stuff to take out. Uh-oh. Time for some racing, boys. Yeah. 